Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. Today I'm baking some mince pies. I had this video planned since the beginning. I've had my pastry, which is pre-rolled by the way, and pre-made. Um, that has been in my freezer for a long time, so I've been ready for this video for ages. So I'm making mince pies. If you're looking for a recipe on how to make the pastry and the mince meat, this is not the video for you. This is just me making mince pies with everything already made because ain't nobody got time for that. I have just researched a recipe for mince pies and literally the ingredients are exactly what I have pretty much. So I'm just gonna follow the method here as it states. So this is the ingredients that I have. I have the mince meat, which is from Lidl. This is where I got mine from. It's quite a big jar actually. Then I got the pre-rolled short crisp pastry, like pre-made, and also it asks for granulated sugar. It says to preheat the oven to 180 degrees. So I'm gonna do that. And also to get out a tray with 12 little tins. Yes, this is very old, but don't worry, it is actually clean. So I've got that out. So the surface is clean. I wiped it a few minutes ago, so it's still a tad bit wet, but I'm gonna dry it down. Then I'm gonna roll out my pastry and I'm gonna cut out some circles. I don't have an actual cutter, so I'm thinking I might use the top of this wine glass to be the cutter. Okay, that looks kind of weird, but I've cut out the circles and I've added them into here. Hopefully they won't stick when I get them out, but you know, whatever happens, happens. The recipe now says to cut out smaller circles that will go like on top of the mince meat in the mince pies. Well, I'm gonna cut out little stars. I've got these cutters here. Um, so I'm gonna cut out little stars to go on top. I'm not sure if that will work too well, but we'll see. I just wanted to do that. So that's what we're gonna do. out the little stars that I'm gonna pop on top of the mince pies when I put the mince meat in and I just made like a little bowl with the leftover dough and I will do something with that at another time but don't worry it's not going to waste I think next it says it says to fill each case with two teaspoons of mince meat lightly moisten undersides of the pastry lids with water and use to top the tarts pressing the edges to seal i'm not actually going to seal my mince pies they're not going to look like that because i like to have just like a little one on top so yeah we'll see how that goes so let's get to mincing the mince pies damn it i knew this would happen i knew it i would not be able to open the lid if I can't open this lid, I'm going to be very not good. <laughs> Someone help. Back in ten. It's been five minutes. Still can't open the lid. Try bashing it. I knew this would happen. This is the problem with living alone. Nobody can help me. This is why I need to get more muscle. I genuinely just googled how to open the lid and I thought that I was doing it right. Basically I know that my mum told me you have to kind of bash the lid with like a knife or something. Well I obviously wasn't doing it right because I researched on google and it came up with that exact thing but it says to do like bash the knife straight on top of it instead of to the side to like disrupt the seal. Straight away the lid came off. What a winner. I was literally worried then. Ooh, that smells like mince pies. 
we shall continue. I'm just watching Emma's rectangle so yeah we'll just stop you there um but yeah I've just added the mince meat into the mince pies I'm now gonna pop the little stars on top so yeah like I said like they're just like little cute ones oh that looks so cute um sorry if that hurt your ears but yeah oh my god look how cute so I'll just do this and then put them in the oven Okay, so they are now all finished. I did I did fill them quite a lot, um, so they may overspill, but we'll deal with that when it happens. So I'm just gonna see how long they're meant to go in the oven for, and then I will pop them in the oven. Okay, it now says to brush them with water and to add on some, like a sprinkling of sugar. So it's like a glaze. Um, I think I've got a little brush actually. If it's not too clean, I won't use it because I haven't used it in ages, so it might be dusty. Ew, I'll give it a wash <laughs> and then I'll dust it. I've got my water and I'm just gonna like pop a little bit over them like this. This little guy, isn't he cute? Um, so yeah, this is actually kind of hard. <laughs> now to sprinkle some sucre on the top. And they are to go in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they are golden brown. It then says to sprinkle with more sugar after that. Okie dokie. Yeah, let's pop you in. Bye bye little mince pies. See you soon. Bye bye now. Here they are. So they've just come out the oven. I can see how hot they are by the bubbling of the sugar. It says to add some more sugar on afterwards onto the little stars, but I'm not gonna do that. I just don't think that's needed. And then to leave it for about three minutes before taking them out of the tray. And then I'm gonna pop them onto this, um, what the heck's that called? Chopping board. And then they will be finished. Oh, we could put icing sugar on them. I might dot some icing sugar on the top. That is a good idea. I'm gonna try and attempt to get these out now. This might be tricky. If it comes out like absolute trash, then so be it. Oh, it's that I, I filled them too much. I filled them too much. Oh, oh, no, we've got him, we've got him. what they came out like I think they did look a little bit better when they was in the tray and it was a little bit difficult to get out but overall I think they look pretty good this one did collapse a little bit I think that's because I did add too much filling but you know never mind they came out looking cute so yeah I'm happy with how they've come out not to put any icing sugar on the top because I don't have like a sieve or an icing sugar shaker so it would just probably just splat like in one piece so it wouldn't look too great so I didn't add any icing sugar but that's it for today's video stay tuned for a vlog tomorrow for vlogmas day 21 but thanks for watching and see you tomorrow goodbye oh it beeped as I said goodbye the alarm is saying goodbye as well